Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can download and install latest version of code blocks in our computer and how we can run a C or C++ program. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up a browser. I have a Microsoft Edge. I'm going to open it up. And then in the URL bar, we will enter the website address as codeblocks.org and it will open up this uh, official website. And here we can directly click on this download. It will take us to the downloads section and here we will click on download the binary release so once i click on that we can see some download options opening up here now we have some uh, options available while uh, downloading the code blocks for windows one is that we can download and install only the code blocks ide second one is that we can download and install the code blocks ide along with the c and c compilers now in your computer, if C and C++ compilers are already installed, then you just have to download and install only the CodeBlocks IDE. You don't need the C, C++ compiler along with the CodeBlocks here. And also, if you choose to go with the CodeBlocks IDE along with the compiler, which is this option, which says CodeBlocks version number and then MinGW setup, then uh, here it says that you will get the version 14.2 which is available from this winlibs projects for website if i click on that here we can see that the latest version at this particular moment when i'm making this video is 15.2 but with the version that is shipped along with the code blocks ide here is 14.2 and again if you want to use the latest version of uh, uh, you know gcc then what you can do is you can install the C++ compilers separately. I have already made a video about that. I will provide the link in the description box. Once the C++ toolset is installed, then you can come back here and you can download the uh, code blocks without the uh, MinGW and you can set it up. So here in the video description, I will provide a link to the video which will explain how you can download and install the latest version of GCC from this WinLibs project. And once you install that, come back here and we will install the code blocks. So now here I will go with code blocks and setup.exe. I don't want to download code blocks along with MinGW because I have already installed it separately. Here I will download for Windows 64 bit and I will download code blocks version number setup.exe and here you can click on any of the download options i'm going to click on this first one and the download process will start if it doesn't start then you will get a link here if you click on that the download process will uh, start so now i have to wait till this download is complete okay now the download is complete if i click on this folder icon which is next to the downloaded file then it will open up the folder where the downloaded file is saved generally in the downloads folder and here you can find the code blocks 25.03 setup which is the latest version that is available at this particular moment now in order to install this we just have to double click on this file if it asks for the permission then provide the permission it will open up the installation window we will click on next we will click on i agree and then we will click on next and then it will display the location where it will be installed we don't have to change anything we will click on install now it will uh, extract the files and install we just have to wait okay now it says that uh, it is installed do you want to run the code blocks now i will click on yes and then i will click on next here and i will click on finish now it will automatically open up the code blocks ide as you guys can see we have uh, 25.03 which is the latest version and now here what we have to do is we have to scroll down and we have to make sure that GNU GCC compiler is detected. So here you guys can see GNU GCC compiler is detected. Here we will, uh, um, I will select that and I will say set it as default and then I will click on OK. Now it will open up the code box IDE. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sample project. So I'm going to click on create new project. And here I will select the console application. I will click on go. And next here, I'm going to select C. Next. 
And here, the first thing that I do is I will select the folder. So I'm going to click on this icon and it will open up the folder. So I'm going to select, I'm going to create a folder in my desktop. I will say test run. You guys can give any name and then I will select the folder. Now that folder is present here. I have to give a title for the project. I'm going to say hello world. Once I give the project title, it will automatically get the project file name and uh, a resulting file name. We will click on next. And then here uh, you guys can see GNU GCC compiler is selected automatically. We don't have to change anything. We will click on finish. So now the project has been created in the uh, explorer window here. We can find the project. Hello world. In the sources folder, we can find main.c. If I double click on that, the file will be opened in here and it contains the basic simple C program which says hello world. Now in order to run this program, I can select build and run here or I can go to build and then choose build and run or we can press the F9 key which is a shortcut. So once I click on that, it will compile this program. It will launch this command window and here we can find the output of the program which is hello world. So this is how you can uh, set up the code blocks IDE in order to run C and C++ programs in Windows computer. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you have anything to say, write that in the comment box. For more tutorials, subscribe to the channel.